Hello and welcome. Let's talk about acute pancreatitis. So, what is acute pancreatitis? Acute pancreatitis is defined as an acute condition presenting with abdominal pain and is usually associated with raised pancreatic enzyme levels in the blood or urine as a result of pancreatic inflammation. Now, pathogenesis. The underlying mechanism of the injury in pancreatitis is thought to be premature activation of the pancreatic enzymes within the pancreas, leading to a process of autodigestion. Anything that injures the acinar cell and impairs the secretion of the zymogen granules or damages the duct epithelium and thus delays the enzymatic secretion can trigger acute pancreatitis. Once cellular injury has been initiated, the inflammatory process can lead to pancreatic edema, hemorrhage and eventually necrosis. Now, classification. It may be acute interstitial edematous pancreatitis, acute necrotizing pancreatitis. Now, etiology or causes of the acute pancreatitis. It may be gallstones, alcoholism, post ERCP, abdominal trauma, following biliary, upper gastrointestinal or cardiothoracic surgery, ambulatory tumor or drugs. Hyperparathyroidism, hypercalcemia, pancreas division, autoimmune pancreatitis, hereditary pancreatitis, viral infections, malnutrition, scorpion bite, and uropathic. Now, clinical features. These include pain which develops quickly and reaches maximum intensity within minutes, persists for hours or even days, and frequently severe, consistent, and refractory to the usual doses of analgesics. It is diffusely throughout the abdomen and radiates to back in 50% of the cases. It is relieved by sitting or leaning forward. Nausea, repeated vomiting and reaching, a cough and fever may be present. On examination, appearance may be well or extremely ill. Tachypnea, tachycardia and occasionally hypertension may be present. Body temperature may be normal or subnormal. Mildly ecteric, great tonus sign may be present, which is the bluish discoloration in the flanks due to bleeding into the facial planes. Coolant sign, which is the bleeding into the facial planes, producing bluish discoloration in the umbilicus. On abdominal examination, abdomen may be distended, muscle guarding, features of the paralytic ileus, ascites with shifting dullness and abdominal mass. Signs of the metabolic derangement together with hypoxia may be present. Periodifusion, pulmonary edema and pneumonitis may be present. Now, investigations. Routine blood examination may be done, serum amylase, which is three times above the normal, serum lipase, which is more specific and after longer rites. Urinary amylase. LFT, blood glucose, which shows hyperglycemia, serum calcium level, which shows hypocalcemia, plain X-ray, a generalized or localized ileus causing sentinel loop may be seen, a colon cutoff sign may be present, renal halo sign may be present, and the air fluid level in the duodenum may be present. Obliteration of the swath shadow, localized ground glass appearance, calcified gallstone and pancreatic calcification usually seen. Test X-ray reveals pleural effusion, diffuse alveolar Interstitial shadowing in ARDS and ultrasound scan reveals uh, poor visualization in 25 to 50% of the cases. CT scan can be done, CCT also can be done, ERCP and MRCP can be done for identification and removal of the stones, and lepatomy can be done if clinically cannot be diagnosed. Now, treatment. It depends according to the severity of the acute pancreatitis. All management includes admission to HDU, ICU, analgesia, aggressive fluid rehydration oxygenation, invasive monitoring of the vital signs, central venous pressure, urine output and blood gases. Early management includes frequent monitoring of the hematological and biochemical parameters, nasogastric drainage, antibiotic prophylaxis, CT scan essential, if organ failure develops, clinical deterioration is seen or signs of the sepsis develops, ERCP within 72 hours for severe gallstone pancreatitis or sign of the cholangitis can be done, supportive therapy for organ failure if it develops, and if nutritional support is required, internal feeding can be done. Endoscopic sphincterotomy and clearance of the bile duct can reduce the incidence of the infective complications. And in patients with cholangitis, sphincterotomy should be carried out or a biliary stent placed to drain the duct. In case of the diagnostic uncertainty, surgery can be done. Now, expected findings of the USG in acute pancreatitis. The pancreas, solum pancreas may be seen and uh, it is valuable to detect if free peritoneal fluid, gallstones, dilatation of the common bile duct, and occasionally abdominal outtake aneurysm. Assessment of the severity of the acute pancreatitis can be done with Ranson and Glasgow scoring systems or Apache, SAP, SOFA, MODES, and modified Mastel scoring system. Now, Atlanta classification of the acute pancreatitis. In case of the mild acute pancreatitis, there is no organ failure, no local or systemic complications, moderate severe pancreatitis. Organ failure results within 48 hours, 
local or systemic complications without persistent organ failure. Severe acute pancreatitis includes persistent organ failure more than 48 hours, single organ failure, multiple organ failure. And this is a picture showing Ranzer's criteria. It includes admission and in 48 hours, various traits which includes age and others. Glasgow screening system also includes age and white cell count, saturation of the oxygen, serum lactate dehydrogenase, aspartate amine transferase, albumin, calcium glucose, and urea. Now, differential diagnosis of the acute pancreatitis, perforated peptic ulcer, acute cholecystitis, mesenteric ischemia, ruptured outing aneurysm, active pre pregnancy, and serpentitis. Intestinal obstruction, diabetic ketoacidosis, and periodic pain. Complications of the acute pancreatitis include local complications like acute fluid collection, sterile pancreatic necrosis, infected pancreatic necrosis, pancreatic abscess, pseudocyst, pancreatic ascites, pulmonary effusion, potular splenic vein thrombosis, pseudoaneurysm, and systemic like cardiovascular, including shock and arrhythmias, acute respiratory distress syndrome, renal failure, and DIC. Metabolic includes hypercalcemia, hyperglycemia, hyperlipidemia, subcutaneous fat necrosis, arthralgia, ileus, vascular disturbances, confusion, and irritability. The fluid metabolic, hematological, and biochemical changes in the acupancreatitis includes hypovolemia, hypoalbuminemia, hypercalcemia, and total rest count along with neutrophilia. Hypochloremic metabolic alkalosis may be seen due to repeated vomiting, reduced insulin secretion, increased glucagon, and a catecholamine secretion may be seen, hyperbilirubinemia, hypertriglyceridemia, and methemalbuminemia may be seen. End of the topic. Father, didn't